Okay, today we're dehydrating bread for breadcrumbs. Now, this is bread a couple days, homemade bread, out of my Pullman pan, a couple days before it goes bad. You just slice it thin and try to keep all of them as even as possible so they dehydrate evenly and you don't have to pick through them and let some dehydrate longer than others and then after they're dehydrated I send them through my ninja blender and make breadcrumbs I don't add any spices to them I just dry them and dehydrate them the way they are because you never know what you're going to be adding your breadcrumbs to so you don't want to limit yourself on what you can use them for then we just lay them on our tray Try to give a little bit of space between each of them so that the airflow can get in there properly. Some people break them up, but I break them up after I use them or after I've dehydrated them. Before I put them in my blender, just they break apart easy and simple enough. And there we go. I'll be back when I've got all the trays filled and I can show you what they look like. Alright, now when we get to the end, we have our butt pieces. We want to make sure these are on the top of the tray so they're closest to the blower. We want to cut them so that they have more chance of drying nice and evenly. And then we lay them up butt side down five trays of sliced bread for dehydrating all nice and ready to go We'll be back when it's all done and dehydrated so you can see how it works. Now, my dehydrator does not have a thermostat on it, so I do not dehydrate certain things in it certain ways. But with bread, I just plug it in, and about an hour or two later, I have nice dehydrated bread for bread crumbs. I have a Nesco single temperature blower, top blower. I love it. Absolutely love it. It's the best purchase I ever made. It has expanded my family's ability to save food, save money, eat properly, eat healthy, have what we want when we want on hand. Nesco, in my opinion, I haven't had any other, I've had two other dehydrators, and they broke down really fast and were no good. This Nesco keeps going. She's wonderful. Now, when everything's dehydrated, we'll be back to show you what it all looks like before we blend it in our Ninja Blender. We'll be back. After the bread is all dehydrated, I break it down into small pieces and stick it in the amazing ninja. I love this thing. I got it as a gift from my mother-in-law when she moved from her big house into her apartment. Woman's amazing. She's a transplant nurse. 
I give her so many props. She does such amazing work. All right. Now that it's all in the ninja, plug it in. I want to warn you, it's about to get loud. The ninja is very loud. There you have it. Breadcrumbs for any number of things. Any number of things. Now, always unplug it before you reach in to any kind of belated equipment. Beautiful breadcrumbs. Meatloaf, hamburgers, chicken fried steak, any number of things. That easy. There's breadcrumbs. Alright, remember, stay positive. Bye.